this video is just about lowering the electrical resistance of materials pretty much and the effects that they have. So what I have here is uh, some bars of copper. First of all, this is liquid nitrogen in here. That's why you can hear it bubbling. Hopefully you can hear that. Because it boils on contact with anything warmer than it. Even though this stuff really is about the same temperature, it's just the way it works for some reason. So I have some bars of copper here that are pretty thick. I don't know exactly how thick. I've got two of them. I have a hole in them. Just because that's the way I got them. Um, and this is a, a 10 ounce bar of silver. And this is a YBCO superconductor. And this here is a the N52 magnet. It's gold plated because it looks nice. Um, very strong magnet. And you can see here I have this uh, uh, superconductor is flux pinned. So this it'll. float, the magnet will float above it, and the superconductor will float below it. So if I give it a little spin here, and these numbers on the side here, that's a date. That was when the thing was made. I don't know exactly, because I don't know what all that. But also here, if I try and ah, take that off there, um, move that over. I should have my tweezers. This, this thing actually makes a quite large magnetic field that I can feel from like oh. yeah, put it back over. There. I need to keep it away from Mike's other experiments here. But this is the piece of silver here. Um, and you see, this is because of eddy currents. It does this. Um, so it makes pretty strong eddy currents with this. You can see. It takes quite a bit longer to fall than it would at room temperature. And on the copper, watch this. It's hard to see through all this fog. And also, I can do this and move this entire copper bar. Without touching it. And for anyone who's wondering, uh, copper does not stick to a magnet. And neither does silver. For all you people who don't get it. And this here is a superconductor, obviously. I already said that. And it's my favorite piece. This will... I don't know if you can see this. I'll add a little magnet. On the top here. So you can see it spinning. see how it will just spin nearly frictionlessly and it will spin for a long period of time. I also have another thing I wasn't really planning on doing, but whatever. I have some liquid mercury here. A couple grams of that, a couple milliliters, I don't know exactly. Um, 
and it freezes around minus 40. It's lost its shininess, because I've done some experiments with it. It's kind of shiny, it doesn't... it looks shiny around the camera. See, it's nice and liquidy, and if you listen, uh, try and get this by the microphone, you can hear it kind of makes a metallic sound when it sloshes around. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's pretty cool. So, I will place this in here. And it's interesting because it has this little rubber, uh, like, eyedropper-like thing up here. It obviously goes inside there. Um, and when the air gets so cold in this little bottle, um, it contracts, and this thing, you'll see, will actually go like this and start to go in. So, it's starting to freeze it. See the piece there, and it actually—it's uh, kind of stuck. Might remelt it, but uh, you can see it there. It's nice and solid. And I was spinning it while it was freezing, so it kind of made a nice ring. You know. get a little colder, and this is still spinning, and you'll see this thing will eventually, I can feel how much easier it is now to do this, and it will just start to go in by itself, because the air gets so cold, it condenses, almost. There it goes. Pull down this more. And then you'll see here. I'll just leave it out now. All right, you can see. There we go. Oh, there it is. And all this liquid nitrogen here came from over there. Ten liter doer full of, well not full at this point, but had liquid nitrogen in it. Uh, which I also have some of in here, so I can transport it much easier. Oh. I guess I'm on You can see how cold, how much cold this, or cold this is here. But as you see here, this will essentially float forever as long as there's a supply of liquid nitrogen which is the main part that I don't like and since it's so hard to get this to move as you see it will just it wants to go go right back here every time and I'll even do that and down it takes a lot of force you can get this thing spinning extremely fast
happy face on the frost. I'm gonna make the happy face dizzy now. See, this is spinning so fast, the camera can barely even see it. There, it's one dizzy happy face. I'll take this magnet off. <laughs> 